Namaste. Uh, welcome back to tutorial series on Super Pro Designer for Beginners. In the previous videos, we understood how to choose the mode of operation, registering pure components and stock mixtures, and developing process flow diagram and adding the streams and operations to the uh, selected unit procedures uh, as per the problem statement. In this video, let us see how to initialize the stream as well as operation based on the problem statement. In the previous problem, uh, in, the, in the previous videos, uh, we have added all the pure component information, stock mixture and developed the process uh, flow sheet. Now let us start initializing this particular streams. So now um, one by one, I'll go uh, different ways how to initialize a stream I'll show you. For example, uh, when I click on this particular stream, this dialog box appears. We need to, we need to add the streams. So here in the first we need to charge acetic anhydride. I'll click acetic anhydride and click this add ingredient. Now it is appeared here. By default, you can see the flow rate is 0, 0.000. Mass percent is 100 percent. No other ingredient is there. For example, in this in this stream, uh, uh, multiple components are there. We need to add the mass percentage of each component or mole percentage of each component. In this case, acetic anhydride is a liquid. It is charged 100 liter. So uh, instead of mass flow rate, I will select volumetric flow rate. So it is 100 liters I have chosen. And he has not mentioned anything about uh, temperature or pressure in the problem statement. So I'll go with default values. When I click on this, you can notice by default flow rate is added kg per batch. Now this volume is converted into mass because we have fed the density data there. Based on the density information, the volume liter per batch is converted into kg per batch. That is the characteristics of batch mode of operation in Super Pro. Means all the um, inputs and outputs are shown in per batch basis. So I done with this particular tab. Click OK. Next one, I'll initiate salicylic acid. Double click on this one. I'll again show you when I click on this, it highlights in red color. Double click on this, this dialog box appears and you can click on salicylic acid. Again, salicylic acid is a solid mass. So it is charged 60 kg. Mass base it is charged, is charged with 60 kg. Again, if you click here, automatically this highlighted 100% and you can notice here volume is calculated is liter per batch based upon the density again and rest all the temperature with or with default values. Click OK. Next, I need to charge the phosphoric acid. You can notice here in the phosphoric acid, you can notice phosphoric acid is the 100% phosphoric acid is available here. I don't want 100% phosphoric acid. So I have already registered as a stock mixture that is 85% phosphoric acid. That is when you click on uh, initially it is under components. Now I will change it to stock mixtures. You can notice here is by default it is registered available in the software. 95% ethanol and 85% phosphoric acid that we have registered. So I will select 85% phosphoric acid and it is given 2 liter per batch. That is 2 liter is charged. So I click OK. Rest all I go with default values. Click OK. So in other cases, for example, this phosphoric acid, as it is a simple um, composition, uh, in case if you are not registered as a pure component, what is to be done? So I'll just delete it. Here also you can register uh, in this particular stream, you can re uh, charge this uh, two ingredient that is again phosphoric acid and water I will charge it and uh, I will select a two um, liter per batch. I can select here. Uh, like uh, mass percentage is 85 percent for phosphoric acid and 5 percent, 15 percent for water. You can notice how much phosphoric acid out of these two liters you can easily understand. So uh, you can either choose it or register them as a, a stock mixtures or else these pure components are added in this particular stream and their mass composition is added. The uh, reason behind registering stock mixture is the same stock mixture if it is used multiple times or if it is used in multiple reactions, this is again problematic when adding uh, the composition of stock mixtures every time. That is the reason you can directly register those things as stock mixtures. So I will delete them here and I will add phosphoric acid as one of the stock mixtures. Click OK. So now I've initiated these streams here. I, I will not register initiate deionized water. So I'll tell you, is there another, another way to register this particular one? So once you are registered this uh, three streams, I'll register this uh, ethanol, uh, like initiate this particular stream that is again stock mixture, 95% per ethanol is added. You can notice you no need to add the volume. By default, you can see 100, 
kg is there so i will tell you why it is 100 kg it, there is no option to, for us to specify what quantity of ethanol is required i'll click okay and that's it we have initiated except the deionized water all the streams are initiated you no need to initiate any output stream because that is the outcome of your simulation and now let us initiate this operations when i right click on this previously we added series of operations i will go first with charge operation first charge operation that is charge acetic anhydride charge acetic anhydride now so how much we need to charge how much we need to charge so already we have given the what quantity of acetic anhydride need to be charged in the streams so i will select here as acetic anhydride means you can notice using charge using which stream otherwise you can under, not understand I, that is the reason i have previously renamed as s101 102 103 otherwise here it would have shown as s101 102 103 that might be confusing for us and that is the reason i have renamed those particular streams here which streams we need to charge uh, among this for example there are 10 to 12 ports are available 12 input ports are available for the reactor but we have chosen four uh, ports among the four po ports which port is used to charge acetic anhydride that is this particular port one which is named as acetic anhydride that we are charging that we are charging how much we need to charge do we need to specify the mass here we no need to specify the mass here because which is if you select user amount on the stream which is already initiated in the input option the stream initialize option that will be copied down here and by default software will have something called as setup time process time and different times are given here so setup time is basically setting up that particular um, uh, stream or operation for example the pipe you are going to use it to transfer acetic anhydride from one tank to another tank so we need to clean that particular pipe that becomes a setup time or you need to uh, sterilize some particular one that becomes a setup time so you want to wash the reactor that become a specific time specific setup time so here the setup time by default it is 15 minutes we, these are all some decent uh, values we go with default values and also calculate the flow rate so the mass flow rate given in this software is 600 kg per hour just we go with this mass flow rate they are all decent values and uh, rest all volumes all these uh, parameters we will uh, keep it uh, with the default values click next here you can notice the two options are available uh, this is again okay next operation here there is one more called as okay next operation same tab if available we will see what it is for example here the volume uh, i'll just tell you what is next so when i click next one it will take you the next operation what is the next operation charge salicylic acid so which stream we need to charge we need to charge this salicylic acid stream how much amount which is already initialized in the streams so click ok it is showing here so all other parameters are kept constant for example i have opened volumes in this particular tab i have opened the volume in this particular tab if i click next if i click next using this option automatically it will take me to first tab of the next operation first tab of the next operation so in case okay um in uh, okay i'll show you here next we need to charge phosphoric acid we need to charge phosphoric how much it is already selected in the uh, initialized in the stream option rest all we go with the default values and if i select volumes here uh, or if i select vent operation here uh, in the when i click this particular next operation it will take me to the went option went option if i use this particular next operation it would have directly taken me to the first tap of the next operation if i use this particular next operation it will take you to the same tab in the next operation if available if there is no went emission option is available again it will go back to the first tab okay got it i hope you understood this one here operating conditions i'll go uh, in the problem statement what it says that after charging these three ingredients that is acetic anhydride salicylic acid and 85 percent phosphoric acid we need to heat the constituents to 350 kelvin so if i press 350 and then select the unit you can notice that it is changed to 3 and 631 kelvin so that is the reason whenever you input any values so first you have to select the unit first you select the kelvin then you select 300 and 50 kelvin 350 kelvin we need to heat this using steam as heating agent 
one more thing he says that the rate of heating is 0 0.5, 0 0.5 centigrade per minute. Rest all parameters are default. We click next. We click next. What is the next operation? Is a react operation. So again, under isothermal condition, that is 350 Kelvin, we need to carry out the uh, reaction. I will just select the unit. Then 350, I will choose. And uh, during uh, reaction, if it is exothermic, definitely we need to use the chilled water as a cooling agent. In this case, chilled water is used as a cooling agent. And reaction is taking place for 60 minutes. By default, software is having uh, showing 60 minutes. In case you want to change it, definitely you can change it here. If you want hour, day, uh, months, years, whatever the unit you want, you can select it and you can set it up. Here in this case, it is 60 minutes. I will just go with all the default values. Rest all, we will look into it later. And I go to the next operation. So it is showing an error stating that react operation, all the stoichiometric coefficients are zero. It means that I have not initiated the reaction. So in this particular react operation, it is not only operating condition. The next tab you can see that's volume. What is the maximum allowable for volume? For example, you are using 1000 liter reactor. So you cannot use complete 1000 liters. So there is some allowable volume or allowable pressure is there so that we need to fix it. Minimum, for example, when you use a 1000 liter reactor, you cannot work with 10 liters. It is not, it is not required to operate 10 liters in a 1000 liter. So there should be a minimum operating uh, capacity and maximum allowable capacity of a particular reactor that is near, that need to be set and fed batch or operating through the fed batch, we need to initialize using, initialize using this particular tab. If not, then you go to this particular reaction tab. This is kind of very important step. So as it is a stoichiometric reaction, you can notice there is one flask symbol is appearing here. This flask symbol using this, we initiate the reaction. Click on this flask symbol. You, are, you need to add what are the reactant in this box, what are the products in this react, reaction box. So I will select first acetic anhydride plus salicylic acid plus acetic acid and aspirin. This is the reaction. And on molar basis, because given equation is in mole basis, so one mole of acetic acid, one mole of salicylic acid, one mole of acetic anhydride, and one mole of aspirin. If you choose mass also, there is no difference because all the molecular weights are given properly so that it will not create any problem. Even in mass balance also, it try to match us. For example, total mass is 240. Here also total mass is 240. In molar level also, you can notice it is 240, 240 mass. So it, this should balance. If this is imbalanced uh, further, it will show you an error. In this case, it is al almost same. Click OK. And now you can notice here the reaction stoichiometry is ad added. If you want to edit it, you can select this particular uh, icon again, the conical flask symbol, and you can edit it. And one more thing he says that the reaction progress set conversion in this problem statement, it is given as 98%. I will choose reaction as 98% and rest all, I go with default values. And also there is an option to calculate achieve target concentration. This options, advanced options, we look into it in further tutorial. For this particular base case, this is more than enough. So next, we have initiated the react stream. I'll try to click next. Yes, there are no errors. So it moved to next operation that or after one hour, it is told to cool the reaction mixture to 20 degrees centigrade using glycol as cooling agent. Here, by default, chilling water, chilling, chilled water is available. I'll select glycol as cooling water and also cooling rate is set into 0.5 degree per minute, 0.5 degree per minute. So I'll click next. Next, he says that we need to, uh, after cooling, the then we need to add the deionized water. When I select deionized water, you can notice available on the stream, nothing is available because I have not initialized it. So is there, do I need to cancel and go back there? Not necessary. Directly, you can see when I select this deionized water, uh, initially by default, when I choose none, you can notice it is deactivated. When I select, uh, you can notice also previous options are not available. The even three streams are not available because it's already chosen. You cannot use the choose the same stream. So the left out is deionized water. I'll select here. This uh, icons are highlighted. So I'll select here. Now I initialize this particular stream. So in this case, I use water as deionized water. Then the flow rate uh, is like we need to add 25 liter of deionized water. 25 liter of deionized water. Okay. Uh, and also uh, temperature is mentioned. That is 15 degree, which is available at 15 degree. I'll change here to 15 degree. Click 
Okay. So it is in here like once I added initially it was 0. So now it has changed to 24 and 25. So rest all we go with the default values. Then uh, click next operation that is nothing but transfer hold operation as I already told we need to hold it for 30 minutes. So I will select 30 minutes here uh, then click next click next. So we need to transfer out. So what need to be transfer out? There is only one transfer out that is reaction mixture. Even though there are now nine outputs are there among nine outputs only ninth output we have chosen as an out, uh, out transfer out option click here and 100% we need to transfer out sometimes in case of your in lab development or you retain some quantity as mother liquor then you retain some 10% in the same vessel again you add some reaction reactants to it so in this case 100% we are transferring out rest all we are going with the default values and you can notice here there is no next operations means then uh, all the operations are completed uh, then click ok click ok so we have initiated this reactor we have initiated this reactor next we need to initiate the filtration unit we need to initiate the filtration unit so right click on this one go to operation filter option first one is filter option so you can notice uh, there are a lot of output in the output stream there are a lot of ingredients are there what need to be uh, like filtered particulate component retention that is in the cake stream i need this particular aspirin uh, about 90 Eight percent. That is ninety-eight percent aspirin is need to be removed. Ninety-eight percent aspirin need to be removed, and he is also telling that loss on drying. Uh, based on loss on drying, we go with all these default values. That is thirty percent loss on drying, or even based on cake porosity, solvent retention, we can use it. And he says that filtration time is for one hour. I want filtration time as one hour. It was around four hours. I change it to one hour, and. Uh, I need to go to the you can also notice here by default I have not chosen them but they, by default they have chosen draw and filter from which stream it has to draw that is reaction mixture this is the stream uh, the filter has to draw the mixture and start doing the filtration process so it has drawn from the filter reaction mixture and the output the filtrate is coming out of the filtrate stream it is coming out of this filtrate stream so it is done the next operation click next click next in this you can notice this cake wash operation the cake washing stream it is available ethanol is available by default it has selected here you notice that washout stream in the washout stream i will choose this waste solution because filter filtrate cannot be the washout stream because uh, it is part of the filtration system in the washing step ethanol 95 percent ethanol this particular stream is used as a uh, washing solution and the waste stream is coming through this waste solution particular stream and you can notice one more thing if you could remember in the uh, previous step when i initiate this ethanol i didn't uh, uh, specify the quantity of ethanol required to do the washing because i don't know uh, what is the flow rate of this particular uh, reaction mixture based upon the calculation based upon the uh, flux or wash time uh, because we are if you are washing for 30 minutes based upon the flux it for example if the flux is 200 liter per meter square per hour so it will by calculate how much ethanol is required so that will specify the quantity of ethanol required uh, during the output analysis i will show so now we have initiated all the streams and all the operations so once it is done so we need to solve the material and energy balance in the next step we'll solve the material and energy balance and we'll try to analyze the results. I hope you understood how to initiate the streams and operations. Uh, let us see uh, uh, how to analyze the results in the next video. Thank you.